Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift haul from multiple places. I went to Goodwill and I went to Plato's Closet during their clearance sale. And I have a big pile of goodies to share with you all. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just gonna start on the top. So first at Goodwill, I got this L Space bikini top, newest tag, size extra small. This was, I believe, $2.50 maybe? It was either $2.50 or $1.75. I can't remember if it was half off or not. A lot of the stuff was half off that I got there. All right next on top of the pile is this dress that is unzipped. It's this blue long sleeve kind of wrap style ruched dress. It is the brand is Parisian, size six, new without tags. Got this at Plato's Closet for a dollar. I didn't get much at Plato's Closet this time, mostly because I went several days late. Let me fix that. I went several days late, so there wasn't as much stuff as there usually is. Next, I got this pair of Levi's jeans to practice cutting into distressed shorts. These did not fit me. They are the 527 in a 29 by size 29 by 30. I might just go ahead and try to list these but on their own and see how they do before I cut them. Just normal, like I'd say, slim leg maybe. They were $5.50 at Goodwill. So, see how those turn out or if they can sell on their own before then. Next up at Goodwill, I got this Victoria's Secret pink, like, mock neck sweatshirt it's missing the drawstring but i don't think that's really like necessary for for a collar like this it's kind of like the one i have on now but it was four dollars this is a size large so happy about that should be able to sell this pretty quick it's in really good condition then I have this pair of super tiny American Eagle shorts. Yes, these are a size zero. And they are the high rise shorty. So these were $2, I believe, at Goodwill. And they've got the distressed hem, light wash, super good for summer. I do fine with small sizes for American Eagle. Then I picked up this pair of Lane Bryant shorts. They are plus size, size 18. They were $4, but I like the raw hem. They look like a decently high rise pair of shorts. So I think these will do super good this summer. But I just like the style, really trendy. Really trendy with the raw hem and the distressing at the bottoms. I got those at Goodwill. Uh, I can't remember if I said that or not. Next, I got this pair of American Eagle Artist Flair black jeans. These are in a size 8 extra long. So I really like the extra long sizes. Looks like they seem to be in really good condition. They were $5.50. So I'm really happy about those. I'm happy about the length too. Because I know like the artist player, usually they're kind of cropped. So I think those will do good. Then at Goodwill, I got this pair of men's chubbies slim trunks. Looks like they've got a little pineapple there. These are a size small with a seven inch inseam. At the drawstring waist. These were, I believe, $4 at Goodwill as well. Just really basic. 
but those will be great for the upcoming season. And then I got this pair of black jeggings from American Eagle. These are a size 8 long, so probably the same person donated them. But they seem to be in really good condition as well. And they were $5.50 at Goodwill. Then I have these American Eagle shorts. These are the super high rise shorty in a size 2. I got these on a Facebook thrifting group. They were about, it came out to about $5, which I'm fine with because like it's a trendy style, should sell good. Then I got another pair of super, from the same place, super high rise shorty black, but these are in a size 4. They're a little different. That one has a more of a raw hem. These were more folded. Well, this one was, they came folded like this. So yeah, about $5 for the, that pair too. Then I have, if I can get something untangled. I have this Flex tank top, size large. It's like a gray chambray color. It was four dollars at Goodwill. Then I have this wild fox sweatshirt size extra small. It says girls gone mild. I believe this was two dollars if I remember correctly at Goodwill. I believe it was half off. Next, I have this pair of Athleta jeans. These are the Sculptec skinny jeans, size 14. They were two, 275. Yeah, 275 at Goodwill. I've sold these before for pretty good, for pretty good money. Mine were a darker gray though, so we'll have to see how these light gray ones do, but they're a good size. And I didn't pay very much for them. Next, I have this pair of Free People gray corduroy skinny jeans. It's like, they kind of look shiny on the camera. They are a waist size 25, so a size zero. Again, half off, so they were 275. It's like they seem to be a low rise, but I think they'll be fine. This is a pretty big for a 25, in my opinion. So, I'll have to see how they do. Moving on, at Plato's Closet, back again, I got these Free People Movement Crop Leggings for a dollar. They have the V waistline, which is really popular. They're crop, but they have these little ties at the calf size small. I've never found Free People Movement before, so to get these for a dollar was really good. It's like when I went, I went like almost at the end of the sale, so everything was super picked over. So I didn't get very much that day. Then I got this other pair of leggings. These are, I got my brands mixed up. These are Balance Collection. I thought they were Balance Athletica and I didn't bother looking them up because they were a dollar. But it's like they've got the color block purple, neon, yellow, green, and black. Size small once again. I mean, I only paid a dollar for these, so even if I only get like 15, I'll be happy with that. Then I got this BDG Urban Outfitters like sweater, tank, dress, maybe tunic. It's super lightweight despite it being like a sweater material. It is a size medium. I got it at Plato's Closet for 80 cents. So it's just this burgundy heathered color. That'll be super nice. Then I got this. This is collective or no cooperative from 
Urban Outfitter, which is this really soft, like kind of like a blanket almost, size medium. It's a mini skirt, tan, it's got a gold zipper in the back. Paid 80 cents for this. Super cute. It's got a little flower, flower embroidery. I think that'll do great. My pile's getting kind of big here. Next up, I got this Intimately Free People little cami tank from Plato's Closet. It was a dollar. This is a size small. I just thought the print was really cute. It's got two layers. It's got this under the bottom. Really cute print. Love that for a dollar. Then I got this dress, which is unzipped. It is a rainbow party dress. Mini dress. The brand is DD, which is, and it has it's new tags. Retail for $110 at a local boutique. This is a size medium. I paid $1.60 for this, but with summer coming up, people are going on trips again. It's like, I might, if it hasn't sold by then, I might even wear this for my birthday. Who knows? So, like, even with, like, sorority, semi-formal events, this would be super cute to wear. Super low V. And it's just super cute and metallic and fun. Then I got this pair of cut from the cloth Diana skinny jeans in a size six. I've sold this. I've sold these like same jeans like several times now. They were a dollar forty. Just plain, kind of a faded black. This is a recognizable style. I think a lot of people like it. It's just a basic pair of black skinnies. Then. This is the only one I, this is one I really messed up on at Plato's Closet. So these shorts, these are Anthropology 11s, size zero. I mean, like, they're cute shorts. I believe uh, they're like 100% tinsel. Yeah. And I get them home and they're missing these little buttons. So I think what I'm going to do, and they're, it's missing three of them. So I think what I'm going to do is just carefully cut off all of them and the little loops right here. It's like these don't actually like fasten like it's sewn shut. So I think I'm just going to cut them off and sell them like that instead of as a damaged. They're really cute green, perfect for summer. And they were... 80 cents so even if they don't sell because I cut them off it's like it'll be fine then I have a I only have one pair of shoes from Goodwill these are a pair of Nayote I believe there's the thing size 38 which is a 7 Mary Jane's leather they look really good on the bottom these are comfort shoes they're solid leather. These were four dollars. So I'm excited to see how these do. I've been hearing a lot of people on YouTube talk about this brand. I was like these look really comfortable. So I hope I can get like a good 30-40 dollars for those. Then I visited my grandmother and she gave me two things for me to sell. She gave me this coach leather wallet. I just need to like clean it up a little bit. Looks like it's got your card slots. It's got the checkbook flap too and the pen holder, which I really like. Lots of pockets on this one. Very good. So it's like I should get like $30 maybe. It's, a little, it's got a little wear around the corners, but I think I can clean that up some with some leather polish. And then she gave me this Jessica Simpson bag. It's like a mauvey pink with gold hardware and a little and a little charm. 
like that. Just a tote style bag. It's got several compartments on the inside. So this goes for at least like 20 bucks. So I'll be happy with that. And that's all I got for this time around. I've been selling some older stuff in my closet. So I'm excited to get these new listings up and and better pictures, better sales, better listings. The more happier I am for the more sales I make. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I would, I'm trying to get on a better posting schedule instead of, you know, once a month. But thank you for everyone who has liked and subscribed. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.